Hey everyone, another self-isolation bonus video where we take a look at those old pro engineer commands from the 1980s and 1990s that are now hidden in the interface. In this video, we're going to take a look at the pipe command. If I go to File, Options, Configuration Editor, then you can use the config.pro option. It is enable obsoleted features. The default value is no. If you set it to yes, then you'll be able to get to these commands like the pipe feature, general blend, conic surface, and n-sided patch. Really, really old stuff. And again, today we're gonna to take a look at the pipe feature. Before I do that though, let me orient you to my model. Here you can see on the screen, I have a bunch of datum points and a datum curve. This was actually created from a MathCAD prime analysis feature. You can actually create datum coordinate systems, points, and curves from a MathCAD worksheet inside of a prime analysis feature. I'll show you how to do that in another video, but I want to turn off the display of this curve, so I'm going to use a layer to hide it, but still see the different points on here. So let's take a look at this pipe command. It creates a feature that looks like a pipe. When you click on it, you have two different options here, geometry and no geometry. Let me show you the no geometry option first. Then you can make it as either hollow or solid. And as you create the pipe through these different points, you could have a single radius for going around the points, or you could have a different radius at different points. For simplicity, I'm going to use a constant radius. Let's click the Done button out of here. Now it's asking me for the outer diameter. Let's use a value of 0.5. Let's use a wall thickness of 0.05. And now, for selecting the points, it'd be nice if I could get all of them at once. For some reason, the old command doesn't rec recognize these points from the MathCAD analysis as their own array. So I had to pick them one by one. So let's select this point over here and then this point over here. And then you can see a preview of the path it's going to make. When I click the next point, now it's going to ask me for the bend radius around those different points. Let's use a value of 0.5. And now I'm just going to continue selecting these other different points in here. And by the way, I'm not holding down the control key or anything. And now I've got all the different points selected. Let's hit done out of here. And with the no geometry option, you see what was created. And it's just sort of like an outline. It's not even really a datum curve. I don't think I'm even capable of picking it by select, changing the selection filter to curve over here. But let's go back to geometry. And so let's see what happens if we change that option i'm going to click on the pipe feature edit definition i had to pick it out of the model tree because again i couldn't pick whatever this is out of the graphics area let's go to the attributes and change from no geometry to geometry and then hit the done button and you see what you end up getting over here it it looks like a pipe you know we have it going along the path here and it's got its outer diameter in the inner diameter and so this is just a specialized feature that does a curve through points and a sweep inside of the same feature so again this is kind of duplicating other functionality in here just within a single tool so it's really not necessary let's take a look at how you could do that otherwise i'm going to suppress it and click the ok button and let me turn my datum point display back on Let's go to the Model tab, and I'm going to create a datum curve through points. And here we have the Placement tab, much nicer interface for doing this. And rather than picking the points one by one, I'm going to use Query Select to grab the entire array of points. And so there you see a preview of the curve that's going to be created. Right now it is placing a spline through those different points, we could choose to have straight segments. And so now we have a bunch of lines from one point to another point. We could add in a fillet in here. Let's use a value of 0.5 in there. That's good. I will hit the check marks and now we have a curve. Let's turn off our point display and I can create a sweep. I will select my trajectory. Let's define our sketch. 
right here from the mini toolbar. And for the shape of this, let's create a circle. Again, I will use that diameter of 0.5. Let's get out of sketch mode by using the right mouse button. Right now we have a solid pipe. If I use this button over here, I could specify a thickness. Let's use 0.05 and then hit the check mark. And there we have the same thing that we did with the pipe feature, just using the regular old curve through points and then creating a sweep. So again, the pipe feature, unnecessary, but that was something that you had back in the day. Anyhow, I hope you are staying home. I hope you are staying healthy. I hope you are staying safe. And once again, thanks to our first responders, to our police officers, our firefighters, and our EMTs. Thanks to the people who are keeping our grocery stores open and keeping food on our tables. And thanks to the doctors and nurses and hospital workers on the front lines of this crisis. Thank you again.